I've got a bunch of handles here that I need to start shaping. So I figured it would be fun to show you my process. These ones right here, they're gonna get these wah handles, which you can tell are a little bit on the messy side right now. And these ones I won't go into because you really need to know what goes on the inside and what you need to do before gluing all the pieces together. So I'm gonna set those aside and we're gonna work on the handles with scales. So this one is Damascus and I've already etched the spine. So I don't wanna do any heavy grinding on the edges of the handles. So I've already shaped the scales so I don't need to do anything but maybe some 400 grit grinding which won't do anything to the Damascus pattern. This one is just a satin finish so I can do some grinding along the profile but I've actually finished where the bolster area is. That way I don't have to touch anything up front here. And then same with this, this is a Damascus pattern so there won't be much going on with the edges. And these two will be simple. I'm just going to grind these flat and then put a little bevel around the edges and that's essentially going to be done. This one, I'm going to give a palm swell. So what I'll be doing is I'll, I'll be dishing out back here towards the butt of the handle. And then same with all the rest of them, the front side's done, the bolster. So I don't want to be touching that. So I'll dish out back here and then taper the front and then it'll leave us a swell right toward the palm. The first grid I'm starting out with is going to be 120. If I had to take the thickness down on these scales, I would start with probably an 80 and then get the thickness down close to where I want it, then go up to a 120 and then start the actual finishing process. And if you notice my belt speed isn't really high, I'm down about 40, 50% because I don't want to burn the wood. So these three knives are done with the flats. You can see I got them all cleaned up here. This is the one that's gonna have the palm swell in it. So what I've done is I've put a smaller contact wheel on. This is a six inch. And then back to the 120 because I'm gonna take a decent amount of material off of here. So what I'll do is I'll take the profile of the heel right here and I'll turn this blade until this is as close to parallel with the horizon line that I can get and then I'll put it on here and then just start dishing out until I feel like it's a it's a comfortable dish right there Same thing with the other side. It's a little difficult to keep them even. So once you get that dug out a little bit, just look at the back side and make sure that your contours end at the same place. As you can tell, this one doesn't. I'm a little farther back on this side than I'm on the front. And then when I look at the bottom, I'm a little farther on the same side, I'm a little farther back on the same side. So what I'll need to do is I'll need to turn this a little bit more this way and that should get everything lined up. Alright, just a little bit 
some more. We'll be good. I'm nice and even. So now what I'll do is I'll taper this front part right here. Same thing, make sure your tapers are taken down the same amount and you've left the same thickness. And that should be good. So now on this one, now that I've got my contours where I want them, I'll hit the edges to knock the corners off. And I'm taking more off at the swell than I am where I have this dished out back here. I'm going to switch back to the forget to knock your edges off of the bolster area. And back to the small wheel so we can knock the edges off of the bottom side of the handle. I'm done with these on the grinder. Now it's time to go to hand sanding. I'm not gonna keep any facets. I wanna round this off so it's nice and comfortable. Same with these, they'll be nice and rounded. When I do the wasp style handle, I keep facets on them, but in this case, it's gonna be nice, rounded, no hard corners or anything. Well, my first step in hand sanding is I will start with the 220. And with this grit, I'm gonna go through and work down any hard edges that were left that were that were left from the grinder. And because this is Damascus, I want to try to avoid hitting the, 
the spine. Once I get to 400, then I can hit the spine and it'll be fine. None of the pattern will be washed out. Now that I'm finished with the 220 and I've taken out all the hard lines, I'm gonna move up to 400 and then just start smoothing everything out. From 400, I'll go to 600 and then to 1000 and then 1500 and I'll probably stop there. And this is the 1500 grit, so I will stop here after this. And then the last thing to do is to buff it. This is basically the last step in the finish process, other than putting a finish on it like axe wax or a paste wax. Buffing is the last thing that I'll do So I have these up to 1500 grit and what I'll do is I'll use the pink no scratch unless I'm doing a white handle Then I won't use this stuff because the handle will end up pink so Just load this up And then just run it Run it through the buffer And that's how I do the finish on my handles. As you can see, nice contours, no hard lines. Nice and polished. And so I'll go down and I'll put some axe wax on this and the handle will be 100% complete.